people that have to use booty are actually weak. They really are. If somebody has to get back at you by using dark forces or forces, how do they expect you to, to fight for yourself? Because you don't even know okay, that person is doing something. You just start seeing his dozakos hammer wrong. That person is weak because they can't they can't deal with you face to face, like human to human, naturally to natural. You know what I mean? It's like you have to go in the deep dark corners of the earth, in the caves. Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle, and this is the vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video do not mind these two fingers i'm doing my nails tomorrow so <laughs> it's one of those days <laughs> yo it is hot bro it's so hot i don't know if you guys can hear my stomach grumbling i'm actually on a diet i'm doing keto and intermittent fasting you know you guys should join me on that go check out my other channel there's a blog up there I think you guys will enjoy it, right? I will be posting daily videos there, so you guys don't want to miss it. And we can actually do this um, dieting, fasting, whatever, together, if you guys are interested. Go check it out on the Nicole Dazzling Diamond, which is my second channel. <clears throat> but anyway, let's get into this video, right? So yesterday I watched um, this video which had which had with DJ Smooth and Gogo's Cortini. Now I've done other videos about Gogo's Cortini, so I was like, "Wow, okay." He was interviewing her. This should be interesting, and I watched the entire video, right? Um, and wow, I was thoroughly informed. You know, I even left a comment at the end. Um, of watching that video, I said thank you for this because it was quite informative. However, I won't lie to you guys, it was quite scary. Um, you know, now and then I talk about the spirituality stuff, and most of the time, maybe I scare you guys, or it's because I'm scared too, and these are the thoughts or questions or things that I have in my mind, and it gets deeper and it gets darker once you go down that rabbit hole. Now, Gogo, Gogo's Koteni has been known to be a traditional healer, but I said, in my opinion, she sounds like a witch doctor or some kind of witch. Please, my lady, don't send me, don't send any lightning and stuff, man. Eh? We're just having a conversation type of situation, right? Based off of the video that she did with DJ Spoo. So in that video, guys, they were talking about a lot of creepy things. It was like a horror movie. Guys, I keep on telling you, okay, there's zombies looking around. And you guys don't believe me. You think I'm cuckoo crazy. And I'm really not. Like, there are zombies out there. And she did mention that these traditional healers, or witch doctors, or rather, they create the zombies. Like, she said things like, they are able to kill a person if they want their spirit or something. And then turn them into zombies and she used the term I'm a small boys or I would take all she these people are still living like they, they extract your soul from your body and then the witch doctor can see you but people can't see you and then they use these small boys or I would take all she the zombies to cause havoc in people's lives People actually go to these witch doctors and request to have these zombies made. <laughs> Guys! Wow. You see why I don't like these 3 a.m. people? You must be sleeping at that time. Because what are you doing there? It's kind of weird. No, I love sleeping. Maybe that's just, you know. But those are the hours that the small boys are roaming around, I think. And apparently the small boys now watch a different video. Small boys, because once you watch that video, it's going to lead you down a rabbit hole and you're going to find yourself in the deepest and the darkest 
places well this is all information but damn it's kind of crazy that these things are actually happening right underneath our noses every single day these small boys they kill children they 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 they, they, they are kids they cause havoc in families now i don't know if somebody sends you a small boy tikolosh zombie um if you can see it or the, that thing is just roaming around doing all these funny things and you're just like oh how, how did that thing move or, you know i don't know how it works you didn't get into that but the fact of the matter is these people can create these monsters and then it's so crazy because there's these fake sangomas and fake what what but even if you are fake what what you can actually do those things she made an example about um, Muti, no? she said that if she puts death Muti on the table and then she says to you, to speaking to DJ Spoo, lick this, you won't die. And then she can also lick it and she won't die. The only way for that Muti to work is if she talks to it. Remember I always tell you guys that plants are alive, like they are living things. So now she's saying, and I mean, they get, they make their muti from plants. <laughs> I'm not saying that you guys are muti plants, you know, but I'm just like, yo, she said, like, she said the truth, like, truth that we didn't know. Guys, if my stomach is grumbling, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm actually really hungry. Intermittent fasting is not easy. And dieting and keto. Especially, this is day one for me. I'm going to be in there. So she had to talk to the Muti and command it to work. You know, there's a time when I was saying to you guys that I believe in the Bible. People were saying, no, this was given to black people in the slave times and what have you. And I was like, but I don't, like, I do know or I feel like Right? Let me not say definitively, because I've never witnessed it. But I feel like I've heard the stories. You see these people online telling you these type of things. That yes, there is witchcraft out there. It does exist. People can do things to you from a distance. They tell us online themselves. All we need is your picture and your profile name or whatever. Do you understand what I mean? So how can you not believe? They are telling you, the masters of the game are telling you online. Oh, these things exist. How do you not believe it? And so when I was saying the best way I know to protect myself is to read the Bible and is to pray. I mean, prayer has um, power. It must. Because how else can somebody that doesn't consult and do these things combat them? Because at the end of the day, you actually don't know who is doing what to you. It could be anyone. It could even just be a random sangoma like she was saying. They can just choose anyone to turn into a dikolosh or a zombie or whatever. So your best bet, if they are using words, words are spells. If they are using words to command Muti, you should use your words to pray to God for protection. Somebody once said to me, oh, I, I think I'm holier than thou because I read the Bible. Oh, did I know that the Bible slave wanted I'm like, you know what, man? That's how I protect myself. That's how I feel comfortable. I'm not going to do these 3 a.m. things. If somebody's doing something to me, I'm not going to go and combat it or say return to sender because even saying those words is it's witchcraft isn't it <laughs> somebody is in the room <laughs> so, but anyway so guys whoever was saying who are i mean what else can i do join the 3am gang never that will never happen i do not plan to go to hell i told you guys about that um was it a series or whatever on netflix um, called the Sandman, where those people were marching down to hell and they were actually carrying their own feelings, their own little um, thingies. When they got to their little domains, they had to light it up and burn for eternity. You even have to carry your own flame to hell. Is that something that you want to do? No, just stay on the street and narrow. And another thing is, people that have to use booty are actually weak. They really are. If somebody has to get back at you by using dark forces or forces, how do they expect you to, to fight for yourself? Because you don't even know if okay, that person is doing something. You just start seeing his dozakos hamba wrong. That person is weak because they can't they can't deal with you face to face, like human to human, naturally to natural. You know what I mean? It's like you have to go in the deep dark corners of the earth 
in the caves to do something to someone that make that makes you a weak person and i say this because in that interview gogos continue was saying that she actually gets 70 percent of people that come to her that want to do witchcraft that want to kill people that want to take things from people that want to destroy people and 30 percent of people come for help like i don't have a job help me out how can i you know or maybe some medical ailments or whatever people go to some moments for. That's what she said. So 70% of people are going there for witchcraft. We're not safe. I don't say feet, I don't We are not okay. Because you don't even know where the danger really is. Like, you don't know where the danger is. And it's very uncomfortable. Last, yesterday when I saw that thing, last night, yes, I prayed for so long. I was like, Father, please. Please. I know there's people out there that hate me. But I will read that Bible. I will pray to God for protection. And he will protect me. I'm not going to be turned into a zombie. No. No. I refuse. In the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse. Nahana, mm -hmm. this is a big head zombie. That would be so freaky, dig. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Because it's serious. And then DSP obviously is the interviewer, but Jesus, he was so enthusiastic. He was so interested in that interview, like telling us that he's also a healer. And wow, I mean, we all know that he's like a tree hugger. He's on his spiritual journey. I don't know if DJ Spoo would go that far, but I feel like, oh, Gogos Kotini said that. Okay, some people want money that come to her, right? And then she offers you, um, what did she say? Yes. So when it starts out first, then they will say to you, hey, it was it this group that you were speaking about? Okay, no. I think it was Uktwala. So what she said is she'll give you an animal and then you must go slaughter this animal. But then in the next year, at the same date, she's going to come back and tell you, oh, now you need to go and slaughter this thing. And then you, maybe a chicken first and then a cow. And then the third year, maybe now she's going to come back and say, well, if you don't want to die or you want these things to carry on or whatever, now we need human blood. So you see, you have to elevate. You can't get out of it. Once you start... Once you go into that path of darkness, you can't get out of it. And eventually, they are they are going. Mm, whales. <laughs> wow, but not the other others, not our the others, but you know what I mean. They're gonna want human blood. They want more. They will never be satisfied. And if you don't give them what they want, you're gonna die. She said that people come to her husbands come to her and then she says that she'll give you anything you want but she's gonna give you the rules whether it's bad or good she's gonna help her clients which i just think i just find that so weird why would you even do the dark stuff for money yeah kind of makes you wonder about her then you know i heard that sometimes she does rituals naked and then another samboma person was saying why, why, why does she do um, things naked? The guy that blows the flute, whenever I watch that guy's videos, I always skip after he blows that flute because I don't know what's happening when he's blowing the flute. I understand? I probably watched like three of his videos. And when I saw that thing, I was like, skip really quickly because he blows it a number of times. Why is he blowing it, man? <laughs> you could just put a sound effect, but he has to blow something. Well, something is going on. Something is really going on. He said that only witches do rituals naked. And because Kotini has been said to do these things naked. So, <laughs> what is going on here, man? Yeah. Without an answer, I think we know what the hell is going on there, man. I'm so sorry, I've got a running nose. But anyway, I just wanted to bring this video to you guys that, um, guys, by the way, we're actually not safe, eh? Because you don't know who's doing what to you. Don't go around eating at places. And remember, I said to you, there are certain people in this world that I would not want to touch with a 10 foot pole, and they must never touch me. Because if they touch me, that will probably be the day that I die. Don't let people touch. Don't go around giving people hugs. You can be polite and greet without hugging people, touching people's hands, or even eating at people's houses. 
rather go to events ujile and then come with your own booze or something because ah uh, like you can't trust anymore you really can't trust anymore and most importantly guys stay prayed up it, the, the way um Skogos Koteni was explaining these things, she made it sound like it's very easy to just eliminate people and do all these freaky dicky things. Right? Um, I could say more about this, but I'm looking at Okay, so my camera was about to the space was finished, so I had to move things around. But listen to this, yeah. Now do you guys actually see why back in the day they used to burn witches at the stake? And obviously the world has refreshed at some point and restarted where, in a way, witches were hidden for so long. But recently, they've just all come out to the forefront. Or maybe we're only really getting to see them now because they do want the popularity in the cloud. That's why they're all on TikTok and all these places. Just roaming around like, oh, it's okay to threatening people online telling us these scary things even though yes thank you for the information we know and we're gonna have to just keep on protecting ourselves the way we know how praying every day don't even skip a day guys like why not well, you don't skip meals why would you skip prayer don't do it just pray don't a lot of people like to pray for money and all those things Ask for protection, ask for wisdom, ask for peace, ask for love, ask for peace within yourself first, or just pray and give gratitude and say thank you for everything, because wow, you're still alive and that is a gift in, its, in itself, right? But um, yeah. Now, yeah, now I understand why they used to burn witches at the stake. Because it's a dangerous situation. And because obviously these things do exist. And they obviously do work. If the witches are coming out to tell us themselves that these are the things that we do. Gogos Koteni was saying, we, 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 we a lot. Which means she's part of that group of people. And so you guys, that, that girl, she looks so cute and innocent. I find there's just a darkness. There's a scary thing about this. It's just, the other day I saw Dr. Maweni's um, video. I don't know where I saw it. Where she had an owl. A dead owl. She was like, you see? You guys are sending your things. Now we have to go and burn them. It won't work. It won't work. That same night, I, I dreamed of a uh, dead owl. It flew in the house and then, I don't know, we hit it and it died. But it was a dream. Because obviously I saw that scary shit. <laughs> so it was playing back in my mind, like, mm -hmm. Ish. you know, it's like there's something obviously in all of us that wants to believe. Oh, okay, man, these things are not real. Get a movie, get a thing, you know, people are trying to scare us. But then it's like, <laughs> they really, if the G's. And the doctors Zakon are saying it, then it must be real, man. It's not even um folklore anymore. It's not tales. They are coming, the ones that do it and check out the medicines and all the stuff, they are telling us. I don't know, man. Oh, just supposed to live in free like uh, this place is not fine. This place that we're in now is not fine. The world is coming to an end. Where these fighting things are just acceptable. It's weird. How? How? These things used to be tail, the colors and stuff. Now it's like actually um, we do do this stuff. Um, here's the story, and this is how we do it. Um, by the way, please check um, your deceased family members or people. Um, check their tongues and their body parts if they're still there from the mortuary, because the mortuary people are actually working with the. Sangomas or witches to get people's body parts for them to be able to do these things and they specifically like the virgins and the kids can you imagine it just seems very criminal to me eh some kind of syndicate then people want to say the illuminati doesn't exist 
these things exist. That's it. And really, as normal, natural people, all you can do, even if you have your spiritual beliefs, even if you're religious, all you can do is just pray. Or not choice. That's the only way you can protect yourself. Pray and have faith in God, Holy. These things won't affect you once they are done to you. Because it seems that she was even saying a person, let's say you're at a party, bro. You step on someone's toe. That person, hey, <laughs> people are mad. Yo, don't piss people. I'm just thinking, how many people have I pissed off? I feel safe. I don't feel safe. I don't, I don't feel okay. I really don't. But anyway, just be careful out there, you guys. Um, don't go around eating at places. Pray. Don't go around touching people. There's absolutely no reason to be just going around hugging and touching people. Why? You know? To be um, courteous, nah. Uh, normal greeting and goodbyes. It's just fine. It really is because you could be in more danger. She says like those people that say, hey, man. Nothing's over for hey. It's because their spirits are already being called by the witches. And then when you know how we'll sit around after a funeral and we're like, hey man, this person said one, two, three. It's like they knew they were going to pass. She says that it's because they knew. <sighs> this is not normal. 70% of people go there. For witchcraft, not help, not healing. Seventy percent. So, how many people are lawyerizing people, and how many people are lawyerized? Does everybody have to go? <sighs> anyway, you guys, let me know what you guys actually think in the comment section down below. I watched the whole video on DJ Spoo's channel. If you guys want to check it out, you better go see there. It's very, very creepy. The conversation, they just sat there like it was so nonchalant. Like, it was just chill vibe. You know? Just two friends having a mo fire. I like, what is it? Mo fire. Yeah. Just two friends having a mo fire. Talking about scary witches and zombies. It was so normal. Just like how it's so normal that these things are actually happening. Televised. Even. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you like um, my videos, um, please do click on that thank you button. I would absolutely really appreciate it. And don't forget to go and check out the Nicole Dazzling Diamond. And as for the other channels, like I said to you guys, I'm working on new music um, that you guys will be getting soon. And yeah, so we're going to, what's this? Revitalize. What is this? resuscitate those other channels as well and i'm really looking forward to it guys i'll see you in the next one i absolutely do love you bye <laughs> be safe be safe and don't forget guys you can't even forget pray pray right bye